What's going on guys? Welcome back for part three of the Hellcop project. I gotta correct one thing from our first video. The fog lights. Apparently these models are different. In my 2012, my 2012 pursuit going back in my actual notes, I bought the kit for $30. And it had the the fog, the fog light harness behind the bumper, so we gotta just install it, put plug it in the harness. The bulbs that came with the kit didn't fit, so I spent fifty dollars on a set of bulbs, plugged those in, couldn't figure out how to turn them on. Come to find out, the switch in the car is different, so I had to buy the switch that was eighty five dollars, and then it still had to have it activated by Dodge, which was another. I don't have a have a note on that. I believe it was another hundred dollars ish it was like between 80 and 120 bucks something like that so that turned to be a really expensive project this time i was prepared i bought the fog light kit for a hundred dollars i bought the switch for another hundred dollars i actually activated it in the computer myself for um or with the uh taser device we pulled the front end apart and no fog light harness so uh, i either have to use the harness that came with it or do some more work wasn't willing to go through all that so apparently the 2015 and up models do not have the fog light harness factory in the car so if you're looking at doing fog lights that's something to check out ahead of time this looks like a whole different car now the tpms light that was on <clears throat> we dealt with that that was uh 60 bucks for each sensor and had those changed down at discount tire it was a pretty quick job the rotors were uh 540 dollars for a full set of drilled and slotted power stop i went through a bunch of headache with that calling a bunch of braking companies to find to find the right kit they all told me that they didn't have any kits for the all-wheel drive they only had kits for the rear wheel drive or they didn't know what size the rotors were and i found out that apparently the rotors are the exactly the same on the front on the all wheel and the rear wheel so these braking companies just had no idea what they were talking about i even called dodge asked for the diameter of the rotor and they gave me 14 point something by 14 point something by like two and a half <clears throat> and i was like is that the diameter of the rotor or the dimensions of the box it comes in and the guy at Dodge Parts is like uh actually I don't know so yeah that was a bit of a headache but power stop rotors full set $540 we went ahead and did the badges the steering badge I believe this was at rebadge and design and steering badge and dash badge dash badge got those custom made about $75 for the pair put together and Kim blade washers not washers windshield wipers Kim Blade windshield wipers, these are much higher quality than anything I've ever used, including Rain X. Can't tell you what they cost. I got them on Kickstarter. They were amazing. I ended up just buying another set when they came out with the new ones for both cars. Window tent was $750. The quality of the tent makes a difference. That's why it was so expensive. I got the highest quality tent. That's actually 15%. The clarity and the heat dissipation make the biggest difference in why you want to go at higher quality tint. And at 15%, the clarity is crazy, so I'm probably going to end up going darker. And the front windshield is 35, 15 on the sides, and 20 on the back. Finally got our badges on. Finally got our badges on. Full set was uh, sixty dollars. You pick these up at DodgePursuit.com. I put them a little high because I'm going to have a recessed mount light put right under it.
Got all of our body work done. So we got that hole repaired. Completely repaired. All this was repainted. Can't see the uh, the words anymore that used to be here. Painted all this. Just did a touch up on a few other places. These are covered scratches. You can't see them once you actually back off. The hood was six hundred dollars. It cost eight. I found it locally for six. This is an actual um, aluminum hood. I found a nice fiberglass one that with a functional hood scoop but it fiberglass wasn't recommended by my uh, my mechanic so this one's aluminum i had to have it painted but 600 dollars for the hood five sixty for the front bumper with everything included i realized after the fact that the uh front tag bracket wouldn't fit from the other car so I did have to buy a front tag bracket they're like a hundred dollars for some reason I managed to find it for like 40 bucks 30 bucks something like that side skirts were 300 and the back bumper was so the back bumper is actually like seven hundred dollars I managed to find it on eBay for $350 without the diffuser and the uh, vents. I already had the diffuser, so I didn't feel, didn't feel like that was worth buying it with a new diffuser. So I bought the bumper for $350 and they folded it deliberately to fit it in a box that it was too small for. Damaging it intentionally just to ship it for some reason. You get what you paid for, I guess. So they ended up doing giving me a partial refund to cover the repair of the bumper the uh it was 420 with the uh vents included got to get those actual vent covers in there and then go figure my pursuit my srt style diffuser for the original bumper didn't fit the pattern was different on the the holes or whatever so I had to return that and I got a SRT diffuser for the SRT bumper and it didn't fit then I'm confused so then I found this one and this one was actually more specific it said like 2015 and 16 Hellcat like 17 through 19 uh, scat pack and like some other years of the 392 or something like that so the problem is since I bought the bumper aftermarket that's just 2015 and up i have no idea exactly what year this is technically supposed to be so took a shot at it this one happened to fit so if you're going to do the uh full rear bumper swap buy one that actually has a diffuser included because that was a pain to figure out and even the people i bought the bumper from had no idea uh tint the tint of the tail lights out it's actually dark honeycomb tint that's from Lux or Lux Concepts, L-U-X-E. Got my corner window decals on. Got the bars in the windows too. This is another thing that make sure you check your state laws. A friend of mine, some people watch this video know exactly what I'm talking about. He put a canine unit large across the car, which if which he legitimately works canine <clears throat> for security. But in our state, if you're going to mark the vehicle for that type of purpose, you're required to put the company name and license number on the car, which he didn't do because we work for multiple companies. We told him it was a bad idea. He didn't listen. Got pulled over by state patrol. Got accused of impersonation. It was a whole thing. It didn't have to be. So this is just a, a small six by six. Um, reflective disclaimer you know basically it's the same thing that anybody would use on a car that travels with dogs it's it's you know this is legal to have you know don't mark the vehicle saying canine unit or anything like that on the side if it's not legal in your state i'm also exempt from window tent laws so i don't have to worry about 
uh, window tint regulations. So stuff like that, make sure you check your state laws. We got the Big Boss exhaust. As I went with the carbon, and as usual, I called to verify that it would fit. And I bought it, and it didn't. So it would have had to, you know, they said it would fit over and just um, bolt down. It's not true. Maybe for the RT, but not for the Pursuit, even though I told them I had a Pursuit. So I went with the Big Boss uh, axle back. Sounds amazing. The car is cold. I'll cold start it in a minute. You can hear what that sounds like. It actually came free with mid-muffler delete. It's supposed to increase sound up to 75%. I'm not using those because I don't want my car too loud for no reason. The tag bracket was $50 on... No, actually, this was $30 on eBay. The reason why I got the tag bracket is I've had too many people taking pictures of my car randomly, and these things get stolen all the time. We had a scat packet stolen in my neighborhood a couple months ago. The place I was working, the security actually told me people were walking around my car taking pictures. They got the plate number. I ran the plate. It came back suspended with no insurance. That's not comforting. So, of course, I got the um, got this tag bracket for when I'm sitting on private property only. Do not use these things on the main road. All in all, the labor for the painting the bumper, repairing that hole, having the touch up much of the paint on the car painting the side skirts painting the hood and the front bumper is about twenty seven hundred dollars also installed a drone system the drone alarm alarm remote start ignition kill and some other features i'll go over that in another video that was about a thousand dollars we're going to cold start it That's all we have for today. Next video, when I get around to it, will be on the light package. Once I get the light package installed, well, stay tuned.